Hey guys, it's Matt with My Designs here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use My Designs to sell your own digital products on Etsy. So let's get started. We're on the dashboard of the My Designs homepage here. Uh, what we want to do is navigate to the listings tab um, right under dashboard. And as you can see, it took me straight into a collection that I've already set up here. Um, if you don't know how to access a collection, you can go up to your listings here and click underneath. Um, as you can see on home slash nature slash camping, um, right here is where you could select a collection or you can create new ones with the plus button. Um, like I said, I've already got one created here. I've got three good looking designs in here and I have all my data populated ahead of time. So I don't have to do this um, on this video. So we've made it really easy here at My Designs to sell your own digital files. Um, as you can see, I've just got one file um, uploaded here in each of these file slots, and these are all different ones. Um, we can actually upload files into all of these additional slots that you can see here where my mouse is and um, sell those files too as one individual um, listing on Etsy. So you can upload any of your own files, like I said, whether it's a PDF, a PNG, a JPEG, uh, or an SVG. And if it's not, if it's a file type that we don't support, uh, you can zip it and then just drag and drop it into an empty file slot, and it'll work that way um, for selling on Etsy as well. And let me show you an example of that. So I've got a zip folder here just named Camping Zip. Uh, it's got about 10 different designs in it. Um, so if you wanted to do it this way, you could just take it and uh, excuse me, I've got to select the zip file over here, the file slot, and then you can take this uh, camping zip and just you'll see how it highlights when a uh, um, when I'm in the correct place and then drop it there and it will upload it directly into it. And then once we're um, uploading to Etsy, we would just select that file slot as one of our um, options or one of our products that we want to sell and it would be included in the listing. Now we also have some pretty cool features with my designs that allows us to do some color and pattern overlays to designs that we already have. And these designs I have here that are just white background or excuse me, white with a transparent background are the perfect designs for color and pattern overlays. So I'll show you guys a couple examples of those and then we can also include those in our Etsy um, listing as well. So what we wanna do for, um, let's start with the color overlay. What we wanna do is go to more actions, image utility here, and then we'll go color overlay. And um, as you can see, first of all, we have three designs selected because we want to do the color overlay on all three of these designs in this collection. Um, if you don't know how to do that, you just click this check mark here and then you hit select all. Um, so then, like I said, we'll go more actions, image utility, color overlay, and then um, we select the file slot that we want to pull from. So essentially the design we're using to apply a color overlay to, and that would be the primary file slot. Um, and that's the one that's locked here. That's the initial file that we uploaded. Now we select our output file slot. Um, this could be any of them, but I personally created one and named it color overlay. Um, and now we select the color that we would like the overlay to be. Um, for this example, uh, let's just go ahead and do maybe like um, a red color like that. And we can generate a preview before we actually apply the color overlay to make sure that it looks good and it's what we want. So we'll generate the preview first. I uh, see, and I don't like that red color. Um, I think I would rather go with something more dark. Um, let's try that there and we'll generate the preview again. And you know, that doesn't look too bad right there. So we'll go ahead and use this one as the example and I'll click apply color overlay and then continue. And it showed me that I was about to apply this to three different listings. Um, now you can see under active jobs here, it's done really quickly, but it was showing you that it was working on that. So now if we go over to the color overlay file slot, you can see that it's um, created those additional files that we can upload to our Etsy account or our Etsy store. Now we can also view this in a, in a grid view if we want by coming up to the top right corner here, clicking this, and then under um, file slots, we would go to color overlay and it will show us all three of them. Or if we had more designs in this collection, it would show all of them. So now we've got, like I said, two different versions of this exact same um, design that we can add to our Etsy listing that we could sell. And a lot of people would love to have additional options like that um, because color overlays and pattern overlays aren't this easy if you're using, you know, um, um, an application like Photoshop or Illustrator or something like that. Um, so next, I want to go ahead and show you that we can do a um, 
pattern overlay as well. So we'll, we do it the same way. We go to more actions, image utility, pattern overlay. Um, we're pulling from the primary file slot once again, and this time we want the output file slot to be pattern overlay. Um, we have a bunch of different options here for pattern overlays, um, and we'll be adding more here, and eventually we'll have the ability for you to add your own. Um, so let's go through a couple of these and see what they look like. Uh, glitter rose gold, we'll try that and generate a preview here. So I think that does look pretty good, but I don't think it really matches the camping theme. So let's go with something a little um, different. Maybe uh, this cloudy one might look good on them. Let's try that one. And I do think that looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and apply this pattern overlay and hit continue. And once again, under active jobs, you can see that there's three designs in queue. Um, and, and like I said, that works really quick as you can see it's already done. Um, and then I'll show you these ones as well um, with the pattern overlay. So just like that, we've created from one individual design, we now have um, three additional pattern overlays on them and three additional color overlays on them that we can include in our um, Etsy listing. So next I want to show you how to create mockups for your Etsy listings. Um, first of all, before we jump into the mockups, I want to show you under keywords here, this tab, I set up this data ahead of time. Um, as you can see, I have a primary keyword and a secondary keyword here. Primary keyword just says PNG files only. Um, that's all I'm selling on this listing, no additional file types. Secondary keyword says instant download as um, I'm just letting them know that they can um, download it instantly after they purchase it. Um, so next we'll go to more actions, mockups, and then we have a bunch of different really good looking mockups here to use. Um, these are digital files that I'm selling. So I'm going to go ahead and select digital here. And then I like this version. I think this one looks really good. So I'll select that one. And then we're going to go next to read image um, from slot. So we're reading from the primary. And then we're writing this image slot to mockup one. Um, I set up these files, or excuse me, these, yeah, these file slots ahead of time. Um, I'm just going to do two mockups. So this first one, I'm going to put it in mockup one. Next, this is where I'm going to map the words I'm using. As you can see underneath this um, mockup, there's primary keyword and secondary keyword. So I'll just go here and select the word, the ones I was showing you just a moment ago, primary keyword, and we can change the color of that as well if we would like. Um, I believe we're going to need to have these as white because this is going to be a black background that I'm selecting. Next, I'm going to select secondary keyword change that to white as well and then the primary color here this is the background of the mock-up and I'm gonna go ahead and change this to a darker color as we have white designs so it'll look better on a dark background and then we'll generate a preview to see what that looks like and make sure that it's uh, what we want to use and I do think that that looks really good. As you can see now, there's my design, and then it says PNG files only, instant download. So I think that looks great. We'll go ahead and click Create Mockups. And you can see under Active Jobs once again that that's working. There's three designs in queue, and it should be done really quick. And, and yep, there it goes. It's already done. So now I want to show you guys what this looks like what these mockups look like. If I go to mockup one, as you can see, it created a mockup for all three of these files that we had selected. Um, so next we'll go ahead and do that just one more time. We'll repeat it, um, except for we'll use a different mockup this time. So once again, we go more actions, mockups, um, the read image from slot, we can actually change this if you'd like. So if you remember how we did a pattern overlay and a color overlay, we can select these and create another mock-up um, to show that we're selling multiple different versions of this. Um, I'll use the pattern overlay for this example and then the right image uh, to slot we're going to go mock-up to as that one's the only empty one we have left. Um, once again we'll go to digital here and select the same one as we want it to look pretty clean um, and I think it looks a lot better if they're, um, the mock-ups are the same. So next we'll just map this out again. Primary keyword, secondary keyword, um, this design looks like it might be able to work on a black background, or excuse me, a white background with black color. So we'll generate a preview and see what that looks like. And no, that doesn't look good. Um, it, it looks like uh, we need to change this one to a black background as well, or a darker colored one, not necessarily black. Um, so we'll adjust that and then change these back to white and generate the preview again to make sure that it looks good. 
And that definitely looks a lot better with that one there. Um, so we'll go ahead and use that one as our second example. Click create mockups once again, and then under active jobs, we'll see that it's working. Now that that's done, we'll go ahead and preview them again, just to make sure that everything looks good. And I think that that's great. So the next step here is going to be uploading them to our Etsy shop. So I already have my my designs account linked to my Etsy shop. If you don't have that done already, um, it's something that you'll need to do. And we do have additional videos that show you how to do that. So we would go up to publish here and then um, it shows digital platforms Etsy. We'll click on that. And then this shows the file types that we can sell. So convert files to various file types. If we were using that version, we need it to be an SVG file. Since we're just selling a PNG file, then we'll select this and we'll select the files we want to sell. So now it says file types here. This is the actual files that we're going to be selling. So um, for this um, example, I'll go ahead and select primary. We want to select the zip file as we did upload one here. And then we want to select the pattern overlay and the color overlay. These two are the mockups. So those aren't something that we'll be selling. It'll just be what we're using to show them what we're selling. So next we'll hit next step. Um, this is the categories, art and collectibles, drawing and illustration is what I do for digital files. Um, next it says choose your mockups. So we've got two mockups here. Um, I want the, this one, we can change the primary one by clicking like that. I want the white one to be the primary one. Um, as that would just be the original design and then this is the pattern overlay we applied so we'll go ahead and click that and then we'll hit next step um, oh actually before I do that as you see right here there is an option to add a watermark to these if you would like I'm not going to do that but you would just click that check mark and then you would type whatever your water you, you wanted your watermark to be and then um, apply it so we'll hit next step this is where we map our data and if you're using an Etsy um, overlay or excuse me, not an Etsy overlay, an Etsy template, um, this would automatically be mapped out perfect for you. So you'll see that we have our title here, our description, our tags, and then our price and our quantity. Once that's all mapped out, we just hit next step. And then um, we select our shop that we want to publish it to. Uh, if you had multiple shops um, on your Etsy account, then you would have multiple options here. I just have this one. Um, so it looks like everything is good to go. Now we just click publish. Um, and then like uh, everything else I've shown, it does show you under active jobs that that's working. And now that that's done, let's jump over to the Etsy store so that we can make sure everything looks correct. So we're on our Etsy shop now and we're under the listings tab. Um, these are some ones I had previously uploaded, um, but these are the three that I just did. Um, I'm not actually going to publish these onto Etsy. I just wanted to show you guys how to do it. My designs will always publish these or excuse me, upload these onto your Etsy store as a draft as you do have to pay the 20 cent listing fee to Etsy if you're going to um, make these live. Uh, if we were going to do that though, all we would do is just select these designs and then we would click publish here and it would charge us as you can see 60 cents to list those three designs. I do wanna click into one of these though and show you, we have the additional mockup that we had created here and then I'll jump back over to my designs to show you guys um, what what the actual paying customer would download okay now we're back on my designs here so once we have uh, published something to Etsy to our Etsy store we can go over here on the right hand side of the listing you'll see this globe if we click on that it shows one by it um, you will actually see our listing here um, and it shows that it's published on Etsy and then we can download as a zip here if we would like and I'll go ahead and do that. This right here is what a paying customer would see once they copy pasted the link that they received um, to download the file. So as you can see now that we have this open, we've got the three PNG files and then we have the zip fi file that we had uploaded and this one just had 10 additional designs in it. So that should do it for this video on how to use my designs to sell your own digital products on Etsy. Um, hopefully you guys found this information useful. If you did, please uh, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future my designs content.